This video will provide instruction for scanning to email. Select the scanner button located on the side or on your screen. First we will search to find your email. This is connected to the school district's email server. Select search destination. Next you will have the option to search by name or by email address. We're going to select search by name. It is the same process if you search by email or by name. We are going to use Julie Abraham as our example. Type in the name and press OK. On the screen it will show the name or the email address. You can use the first four letters if searching by an email address and select start search. Here it will provide options. If you are searching by first name, you can scroll up and down with the arrows. Select the email address you wish to choose and OK. Now it will display in the two box in the middle of your screen. If this machine is located close to you and you will be using it often, you can program it to save it on the local address book so it is easier retrieval. We are going to do that next. Select Program Destination. It will fill the email address in the box. Select Name. Ensure that the name is spelled correctly. At the bottom, we will select how you would like to search for it on the local machine. By last name, a for Abraham, we are going to select A and OK. As you can see, it appeared on the front of the screen for a one-touch button for the local address book. Next time when you walk up to the machine, I'm going to select Clear Modes to clear out the selection of Julie. When you walk up to the screen, now all you have to do is select the shortcut button. Otherwise, if you search by A, it'll also be located under A for Abraham. In the two box you will see the scan to email will now go to jabraham at wasaschools.org. Next you will set your originals in the feeder. You can use the document feeder or on the screen. Follow the scan settings on the left side of your screen. Currently it is set for black and white, text 200 dpi is your resolution, a one-sided original, and it is defaulted to a PDF document. If you wish to have other settings, you will select Scan Settings. Here you have the option to choose if you are scanning in a photo, a black and white photo, or if it's just a text document, you can select Auto Color. If you have a full color glossy photo, there is an option for that as well. It will give you a better image and reduce that glossy on the photo when it scans in. We are going to select auto color. Next for resolution, 200 dpi is a good resolution for most documents. However, if you are looking for a sharper image and it is a photo, you may want to select 200 or 300. Remember that increasing the resolution will increase the image size. If your image size is too large, you may have a problem sending it through the email, so be cautious of that. If you are doing a document, and it is a two-sided document that you are scanning in, select Original Feed Type and Two-Sided. You can also change the file type or give it a name under this selection. It is defaulted to PDF, but you do have the option of scanning in a JPEG. And then it will be have more functionality if you are using a photo on the screen in your classroom or in a PowerPoint. You can also give your scan document a file name and it will come through as that file name in your email. Next, you hit Start on the panel to complete your scanning. The next 
demonstration will be scanning to folder. There will be one folder set up per building and the file will be created and listed on the OneTouch screen under your folder tab. Select and highlight that folder which provides the name of it in the two box. You will need to retrieve this document from the folder immediately after scanning. The folder does refresh after 24 hours. You will be able to have the same scan settings and options of two-sided and file type when you scan. Place your documents in the document feeder or on the glass and press the start key. When complete, you can hit the clear mode to reset the function.